What's up guys, this is Mike with Mountain Man Mike YouTube channel. Uh, today, we are going to be continuing the journey of how do I heat my basement with crypto miners? And can it be done? We looked at the Z9 Mini last time and now we've got a new one that I got from eBay and we're gonna see if that one will work and uh, we'll dive more into that. But first, 10 seconds of the smoke. I know you wanna see my cat because she's the cutest cat on YouTube. So today we're going to talk about the Obelisk DCR1, all right? It mines Decred. We're going to take a look at it. It's not super profitable, uh, but it's not unprofitable. So you're with electricity rates where they're at at my place, uh, it's kind of break even to make about 50 cents a day, which doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're using it to heat your basement, then you're making that money back. Pulls in about 1.2 terahash. This guy uses three six pin uh, for the power supply right here, plugs in right here. Uh, you got your ethernet coming in from the back side here. There is my power supply, uh, about 500 watts. This guy is uh, not a quiet miner. So let's see how loud this guy is. One thing you'll notice is that it starts out pretty loud. It does get quieter, but it is still a really loud miner. One of the things that I'm gonna have to do with it is probably not run it when my wife's around. Don't want to annoy her, so when we go out or when she goes out, I can turn it on uh, and start heating up the basement in the winter time uh, and start making some money from it. One thing to note with this guy is that it will work on the standard American outlet. Uh, you don't have to rework your outlets or anything like that. You can just plug it on in and it'll start right up. But one thing you gotta do first is you gotta find a pool for it. And so what I ended up doing was I went on, uh, what they recommend is Luxor Tech. And uh, so I went on Luxor Tech, made a account. And then what you wanna do is you want to find the IP of the, uh, the miner. And so Obelisk actually has their own uh, IP scanner for their things. So you can go on their site, you can find that. Once you find that, you're gonna, you're gonna put the, the IP in the browser and you're gonna open that up. After you put the IP address into your browser, you're gonna click enter. You're gonna be prompted to put the username and password in. Uh, and that's just admin for both of those. So we're here at support.obelisk.tech. Uh, and they've got a lot of good stuff um, to help you out if you're looking to set this up uh, and want something more than, than this video provides this is the place to do it uh, you can find the whole setup here uh, which is really nice uh, we'll start with the minor configuration and of course you're gonna want to do your username and password you want to change that up afterwards uh, but just to start out just do admin admin after you put in your your username and password you'll go come up with this screen it'll take you to your dashboard which is right there click on network make sure that your dh uh, cp is enabled all right uh, next uh, you can go down to the setup system right here or the setup uh, spot right here one thing i did have problems with is setting my time zone uh, it wouldn't allow me to set my time zone uh, but even though I couldn't do that, the miner still works. So, and then we'll scroll on down and you can uh, click on mining right here and do a little bit more advanced controls. 
And lastly, you're going to want to put your, uh, start working on your, your pool. And so uh, for your pool, you're going to want to put the URL right here. All right, you're going to want to put your worker right here. And then you always put a dot and they have obelisk right here. Uh, but it's your worker name and Luxor Tech will actually give you a worker name uh, of your miner And so I just put that in right there And then this is just where my decred is going to be sent right here and then password you're just going to put X down there so and then you can click back on dashboard after you've done all that and uh, Check your stats right here and make sure everything's running nicely and That should be it all right, so that's all I have on the Obelisk DCR1 Slim. Personally, uh, if I were not heating my basement with it, I probably wouldn't buy it, uh, just because it's not super profitable uh, right now, or it, it's barely profitable. Uh, I mean, we're talking about like, I don't know, maybe 50 cents a day, but that could be down to, to zero cents a day after electricity costs, if you know the market's down. Um, or it could just be not profitable if the market really goes down. So that's something to think about uh, as you are thinking about maybe possibly picking up one of these. You can get them on eBay for, for pretty cheap here, uh, right around $500, $700, something like that, uh, if you can find a deal. But personally, I probably wouldn't get one if I weren't trying to keep my basement. So that's all I got for you today. I uh, hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, if you learned something, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll be doing more videos. I've got some more miners that I'm covering uh, in the near future here uh, that you might be interested in. I'll leave it there. And uh, again, thanks for watching the video. Until next time, God bless and keep living the adventure.